Hello YouTube. This is going to be my new series of... Uh, I'm still trying to think of the name of it. It's basically going to be specialised on the Scania. Specifically my Scania, but it'll be crossbred onto a lot of the Scanias as well of this sort of era. So if you see it in the Scania, you might go actually it's check out Steve O's vlog. He's done a Scania Help and Info series. So see how this goes down. It will be modified over time naturally because I have some big news to set pass on in another bit of the vlog later today. Nothing confirmed really yet, but it's really positive news. They might not changing companies or anything like that. So don't panic. Don't panic. So yeah, so today to introduce a new series is basically we're going to be focusing on Pacific systems on the truck. So a bit like today we're going to be doing the info entertainment system. I thought I'd start the series off on something simple. To show you, I know it might be a bit boring, might be a bit outdated. I should have found out what model it is, but you know it as soon as I start showing you it. So hopefully you will enjoy this series. And next one will be like on the air conditioning system, the suspension systems, you know, and I'll just do it individual videos on each specific system. I won't go, hopefully I won't go completely you know, it's not going to be a massively long series, naturally, there's only so much I could probably do on the truck for you. I am want to highlight also, for legal purposes, I am not an instructor, so I could be wrong with the old thing, I might not quite describe it how it should be described, but I'll aim to give you the most accurate information that I can possibly give you, though, at the same time. Also, if you do not have made a mistake, comment down below you know so actually you missed that or actually no that's what that is you know fair enough what I'll do is I'll move this out the way so you won't get any work stuff I've got you on my gimbal control thing I've also got you on my iPhone down here so I can see what you're looking at so I'm going to point you towards the subject of the day which hopefully if we the lights are off let's make sure this is on its brightest yeah okay so you're looking at the infotainment system I do apologize for the lighting in here there's not much I else I can do I've turned on yeah everything I can do I'll give you a close-up look just so if you can't make out the there you go, you can see the buttons now. Let's bring you back a little bit. Point you... I think that might be the better angle for you. So on the top left, this is like your... your uh, skipping options on, on the radio itself. This is for the radio. I'm not going to click the radio because the radio is bound to turn on. What I'll do is make sure we are in mute. So that's for your FM and AM. This does not have DAB, just for reference. Then we got media, which we are on at the moment. That's on AUX, which is AUX connection. On, on this Scania is just where I'm pointing just there so oh, and he also got a USB plug-in to the left there which I've got my iPod plugged in at the moment and you just press it to go through the different options so you've got CD there iPod Bluetooth and we can play this because it's uh, license free There's a the volume there, you can also also mute it by pressing that left button as well. So that's your volume and mute all in one button there demonstrated through that. That is the NCS that you can find them on YouTube, Tribute, Infectious, just Google the name of that track and you will find that track. It is uh, copyright free and all that as well. So 
that's if you have a rear camera or camera system fitted to the truck which we do not that's obviously your telephone you've got your phone book call list i'm not going to show you those because they're private and your call function which you can phone from here as well that's your back button by the way i swap to your overhand so i'm not crossing my hands over your view up in the top right we got cd release just make sure this is not going to sunny stop playing there we go this is for as you saw earlier put you down here because it is a bit sunny today so that's the reason why i'm going to angle you this is for your brightness settings so you got auto this is your dark but your mid light and auto and that's its brightest at the moment as well this is a sat nav here i don't really use the sat nav so to be truthful and it's a touch screen as well so you can go into there and Set, set, start. I should replay the sat nav a bit more in here, to be honest. So, da, 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 da. so I'll just hop out the map thing for the moment because. Aha, here we go. This is like all the options for the uh, navigation here. But I don't use the navigation on here, I use it on my PDA. So that's the reason why I don't really use the nav. But when I, and here's a hint, in a year's time I'm going to have a new truck. And when I have that one, I will be using this because it will have influence over how my gears operate in the truck. What I've been told anyway. Okay, on the, this one I've just clicked set up. This is basically your settings. So you got your Bluetooth functions. I'm not going to click on that. I might get the boss's name or something on there. You've got your navigation options. So all the normal bump. And you can sort of. And you, using this scroll dial here. And any option that's. you got a list. You roll it. And if you want to go into something. So like map setup. Da, 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 like that. If you want to always go back, as I said earlier, just click back. You can just. It's sometimes I find it easier to use this wheel thing than press. Not saying it's bad. So you got your radio settings, your truck settings, which is linked to your navigation. Obviously, system settings, and obviously back to Bluetooth. Sorry for being a little bit out of order. And that's about it. Down here, if you got pre define tracks on your radio that's normal aside from that that's the bulk of it you have your steering wheel controls which are up here i'll see if i can angle you down so you can see them so here's your controls here i'm, I'm sort of do apologize that's volume up volume down and back a track forward a track and source so you can go between your fm media sources on, on that on your right controller that's obviously to put your phone down and you'll get an option up on your dash here if you're receiving a phone call what to do so you can click left to I think cancel the phone call or not answer or right to go happy days answer no dramas aside from that Let's point you back towards me. That's about it. You know, hopefully you've... Uh, I know it's not been the best of showing of the system. That's the, that's the best I can give at the moment. There may be a remake of the series as I improve my editing skills, etc, etc, etc. I've tried to keep within all copyright rolls of YouTube doing that because that is the issue of doing the radio system as you said luckily all any sound you may have heard is only 30 seconds and all that and the free bit of music you did here I did highlight 
you can find it on YouTube. Just Google it, what you saw on the display then, it's like Tube Alone, whatever it is, and you find that it's on a load of YouTube videos, you've probably heard it already. As I said, I hope you enjoy this series. Uh, if I've missed anything, comment down below. Each truck can be a little bit different. There's loads of radios that could be in trucks. This is like the one well, the, from the Tray 14 wedge, one of the top radios you could have in. You have a new version now, which is all fancy, and you got, I think, YouTube on it and all sorts. But that'll be hopefully in my next truck. See, I've, I've given it away. That's how excited I'm about that news. But well, I won't. I'll save the rest of the discussion on that to the vlog either later today or tomorrow. Or whenever I do it. So look at my vlogs and it will be in one of my uh, daily vlogs. I'll chat about that or the Pacific video. So yeah, so if you've enjoyed, please comment down below. I said if, you, if I missed anything, what you think. Anything else you want to know about the radio system. If I miss, um, you got to appreciate I do have certain limitations. What I can show you because obviously copyright, etc. etc. As I said, the series is going to focus on Pacific systems as I've just demonstrated then. It will only be a video up to around about 15 minutes each. So a reasonable size video, but hopefully a stomachable, stomachable size video as well. If you want to hear my opinions. I hope it met my opinion on the radio system in, in the Scanny is very good. The audio at the speakers is really good in the Scania. It's one of the best. And on the next gen, the audio is apparently even better to the point I think it is the best in the truck. I think it is actually still the best in the top lines as well. But everybody has different preferences. People may disagree. I sympathise, you know. As you, if you're a trucker, you know in each truck can have loads of fit outs of how the radio is where the connections are. So the connections where I showed you where the aux and the USB is in here may be different in other scan years, believe it or not. Because sometimes I think they have them on the left hand side of the console, all sorts of places they can put them. Even in the drawers, I think there's an option. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. My name's Steve-O, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It would be appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Over and out.